In 4-H and H here. Well, by request from Mike, uh, KA2 FIR, I'm going to shoot a video illustrating the uh, IP01 and IP02 selections on the FTDX5000. So I'm currently listening to uh, 160 meters. We've got horrendous noise tonight. I've already gotten in touch with the power company. This just started up today. And ironically, it's running here into the night. It's uh, 7.23 p.m. local. So anyway, let's see if we can clean some of this up. So obviously on the low bands, even 40 and below, you really don't need amp one very often at all. Maybe on CW, uh, when you've narrowed everything up and you need the extra sensitivity. But on sideband, you almost never really need an RF amplifier uh, stage in your receiver. You know, the idea being, as long as that S meter is not sitting at zero, you've got plenty of sensitivity. So, here's what we've got right now. Um, he's strong enough that he's kind of wiping out the background noise, but. Okay, with him, you can hear some of the background noise. Now, the digital noise reduction can take care of some of that. Okay, and I've got it on five. It'll go up to 15. So that's helped. But the deal is, let's present the DSP with less noise for it to have to... Uh, uh, compute and separate from voice information. Obviously, I don't want amp two. That's make a matter worse. So we'll go to amp one. I mean, I IPO one. So we're improving the signal to noise ratio. It's knocking the noise down more than it is the guys that want to hear. I'm going to tune away from them just a second. Let's see what the noise floor is. So see, even with IP01, we've got a pretty high noise floor. I mean, here it is with the RF amp. So over S9 on 160 here. And I definitely don't need amp 2 on these low bands. Now, amp 2 comes in handy when you get up into, you know, 10, 12, 15, 17 meters. Okay, so IP01. But again, see, I've still got a pretty good noise floor. So I'm going to go down to IPO2. And now let's go back to those guys. So, I mean, you can see what's going on. The signal to noise ratio is just greatly improved. Now, you know, another thing you can do is engage an attenuator. Now we've really knocked the background noise. And I do have an S0, essentially. you got to ignore the S meter. Now I'm rolling the RF gain back. Okay, just, just to mask out most of that noise. And then one other thing I can do is the rig has something called VRF. Um, and then there's the external device. I've done another video on there. There's one sitting right there. The, uh, the mu tuners, as they're called. That one's for the 40, 60, and 80 meter bands. I actually don't have one for 160, though it is available. But if in the absence of that, it has a similar thing built in. It's a, it's a pre-selector. It's called VRF, variable RF. Now, it does help. It's just not as tight as the external model. So what that does, you see, you can, it's centered up with this, uh, there's a lot of different LC networks you're switching in and out there to choose from, but essentially it's centered up at, at that setting there, 128. I can intentionally, intentionally detune a little bit. 
Sorry, I missed it earlier. Didn't like know this. And the guy's so barely moving the needle. Looks good and I, I so the important this. thing is, can I hear uh, them mm -hmm. without a lot of annoying mm -hmm. grind in the background? The and that's what all these features do for you. I'm going to uh, uh, disengage them one at a time. And let's see. So first of all, I'm going to disengage VRF. Okay, v, I re-engaged it since a different person's talking. So here we go. VRF is off. You hear a little bit of the grind coming back. Going to take off the attenuator. And now I'm going to go to amp one. And. No digital noise reduction. Well, the digital noise reduction is huge. <laughs> All right, I'm back to IPO1. A little attenuation. As you can see, the way they lay this out in the uh, rig, the attenuator is ahead of the RF amplifier. So that's actually one of your first lines of defense against uh, out-of-band interference and, uh, and noise. And then let's see, um, so attenuator IPO, oh, IPO2. I downloaded this new software. There we go. See, again, on 160, IPO2 is definitely your friend. And really even on 80. And finally, VRF. With, me, with it tuned just a little bit off the peak. So you can see the meter. I'm intentionally moving it off a little bit to where I hear him clear, but I don't hear all the noise. Okay, so I hope that uh, that is informative to, uh, to you guys. The FTDX 5000 has a lot of capabilities for dealing with uh, noise and interference. Um, it just takes some time uh, getting to know all the controls and uh, reading the manual. And yeah, sometimes the manual's not totally clear. But uh, anyway, I hope that helps. 73 from N4HNH.